Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to Kenny's TV. In this video, it's going to be a quick video and this is about setting up your printing presets and prefaces so that way when you're printing out for sublimation, whether you're using an Epson Equal Tank series or an Epson Workforce series, you get the best quality print as close as the design off your computer. So let's get into it. All right, so most likely you did the major labor. You converted your equal tank, connected the internet, and you're up to this part right here. Same for the workforce. I did the 7840, switch out the chips, connect the internet. Now you just wanna connect your desktop or your laptop to the printer. And I'm using Windows, by the way. And you can pull up your um, Windows or Google Chrome whatever web browser you prefer so I'm just typing in www.epson.com backslash support and this is where I came to get the drivers and utilities downloads from the official support site for Epson so scroll all the way down to you see support right there highlighted for you click on printers find your Epson printer scroll down a bit so let's say you did the, the equal tank right so you type in whatever series you have and this is the 3760 that I converted to sublimation. So I went ahead and downloaded the recommended combo package with all the prompts. And then my little um, management for the 3760 window popped up and I just clicked OK. So all the printing settings is set at default as a regular printer, not for sublimation. And I want to take you to that next step. But just for your workforce series, guys, um, this is the workforce series printer that I converted to sublimation. It's pretty much the same thing. So I just came down here and downloaded the same thing. And I also clicked OK. So what we're going to do is go to settings, go to your settings, and you need to find your printers. Everybody's settings is probably different, most likely. Everybody got um, laptop, desktop, different kind of computers. So anyways, I found my printer. So we're going to go with the Equal Tank first. And for me, I got to double click on it or click on it and click on Manage. So once you get to, to where you see something in effect of these options right here, you want to find printing preferences. Preferences. I can't even speak today. Anyways, this is the one I was talking about. Once the combo package download popped up, I just clicked OK. And I had everything as default. So this is what we got to do first. We're going to start with the top right. And make sure you're on your main tab. So we'll start with the paper size, the document size. For the Equal Tank series, the 3760, 8.5 by 11, which is inches, is the max I had for it. This printer have a portrait here. It's on plain paper. You want to scroll down until you find premium presentation paper matte. This is what you need to have as far as sublimation. Quality, you want to set on high. Color, make sure that's on color. And anything else below that is by default. I did not mess with that. I'm gonna go back to the top left. We see more options. It's like a light blue highlight. Click on that. And the paper, document size, all that's the same. I'm gonna go to the middle part where it says color correction. If it's on automatic, you want to go to custom. So once you get on custom to the right, it's advanced, it's a light highlight blue, just click on that. And you're going to see color management right above. 
Now, if you're all right with having a default color-based settings on sublimation and you just want to get to printing and, and you print out your designs and go ahead and sublimate onto your, onto your materials, you know, go ahead and use ICM. I have used ICM. It is a standard printout. It's not bad. It, um, I'm pretty pleased with the results, but I want a little bit more control. So I'm going to go to color controls right here on color mode. Make sure it's on Epson Vivid. Okay. Now, if you see this um, color little circle graph thing underneath color adjustment to the right is slide bar. Click on slide bar. And let me see if I can get a little closer. Okay. So right here, we're going to be on the right hand side with the cyan, magenta, and yellow. And you can slide the bar. Okay. So to the right is positive, to the left is negative. So for Scion, I'm going to use at 2. Magenta, you can go like this. I want to have it at negative 20. And for the yellow, I'm going to have it at negative 15. And these colors, these colors right here is at these set presets for me. Very well pleased. Uh, the sublimation comes out very nice as far as my designs on two t-shirts press ok right uh, for the image options this is um, optional I have none of these check I have used them check um, didn't see much difference but if you see a difference you'd be uh, well pleased more better pleased than me so you can check these or uncheck these to me it doesn't make a much difference so let's get the watermark features make sure high speed is not checked if you want the best the most ink if you got like a real crazy design with a lot of different colors and tones in it textures um or even just fast and click it on high speed this is preference uh personal preference mirror image leave that check okay now once you have everything set up right here you can click OK, but you want to add it as a preset. So we're going to add it as a preset. And as you can see, whatever you want to name it, I use A sub sublimation paper. So I already got an A sub already on there, but this is for demonstration. You can do A sub 8 by 11, like that. And then you can scroll down and you can see what changes that we already done like the paper type right here below you see the highlight premium presentation paper mat so all the changes that we just did is going to be saved and right here to the right is where you actually save the preset so once you save it it's right there so whatever program you're using whether it be silhouette, silhouette studios uh, photoshop you print documents or off your photos um, you'll be able to find this preset always double check make sure everything is correctly that's what I do but if you confident in your software that you know these changes will not change if you hit a sub 8 by 11 there it is it will print out exactly the way you wanted to print out so once that's saved go ahead and close and hit OK so we're just gonna go back to the printing preferences just in case there it is Double click on that. Actually, excuse me. Click on that. Check the properties. Everything should be the same as was before. Everything's the same. Go to more options. Advanced custom. Everything is the same. So you're good to go. Now for the workforce series, guys. I'm gonna find mine, which is right here. The 7040. Go to printing prefaces. It's pretty much the same. The only difference is that we got three trays. If you got the 7820 or the 7840, you got three trays instead of auto select. Um, I don't use cassette one or cassette two. I use the top tray, which is the paper tray, because I use 11 by 17 sublimation paper. 
Uh, let me see if we get this a little closer here. All right, premium presentation paper mat, still the same. Okay, it's gonna be the same setup quality. It's gonna be high. All right, your color, of course. All these are by default. And so I'm gonna go back up to more options. The middle tab right here, top left, click on that. So we're gonna go all the way down to color correction. All right, we got a custom. So if it's on automatic, make sure it's on custom. Go to your right, hit advanced. You see is that's fixed photos. If you want to just go ahead and start printing, go to ICM. You know, you won't, you won't be mad. Or you can go to colors control. Then color mode is Epson Divot. You see this, you see the circle right here. We don't want that. We want the slide bar. Again, for your, your best colors, the most best options. You won't be disappointed. It's Scion 2. It's going to be the same. Magenta negative 20. And negative 15 for the yellow. Hit OK. Now, below is the image options. So I did check these. So if you want to check them all, uh, to me, it didn't really make a difference. I had these off actually. Um, you can experiment with those. If it does change for you, then if you like them, keep them. Press OK. Down below, we skip the watermark. The rotation 180 is off by directional printing. That was always there by default. Make sure your mirror image is checked. Once you have that, you can go right here where printing presets. Click on add and remove. And I already got the A sub 11 by 17. So this is for demonstration. A sub E. A sub. Same. You can always delete that. And pretty much save all the settings. See Epson Vivid right here for the color mode. And the color management. See all that save. What we just change up in there. And A sub saying whatever you want to name it, just click save, and there it is. It's your preset. So, same thing with the equal tank, whatever software you use for printing off your designs or photos for sublimation, you're going to be looking for that preset. And that's it for this video. If you like this content, subscribe, comment, like, smash the like button ask a question i'll be more than willing to answer the question to the best of my ability thanks for watching catch you on the next one peace